welcome back again to my YouTube channel. And on today's tutorial, we want to look at external works, taking off quantities of external works. Uh, and these external works, it has three aspects. We have the external part of it, that is the, the works that are done. And then we have the manual, and then we have the pipe works. So we had done a tutorial on the manuals and then we had done the tutorial on the drainage works. So I just want us to look at the few aspects of the of the external works. Now if we look at this drawing, we have a concrete post of wire fencing that is 21 meters high. On this side we have new euphoria hedge and then we have a gate here. And then we have some three number new ornamental trees. And then we have 100, 1100 millimeters jacaranda tree to be cut. And then we have 600 by 600 by 50 millimeters PCC slab on 50 millimeters thick sand and 100 millimeters thick marram bed. And then we have our drainage. We have house A and house B. So we are taking our drainage from I was here to manual one true guard trap and then to manual three and then from house A, house B to manual two and then to manual three down to the public sewer. So this aspect of drainage, we had done it on another video. So what I'll do, I'll just share the link on the description on this on this drainage work. And then that drainage work actually involves the manual, but we had also done a different video sometime back on the manual on the manual itself. So you don't need to worry on that. So let's look at the items that you need to measure. We have demolition. So what is to be demolished is this, mm -hmm. what is to be demolished is this 200 millimeters brick masonry, which is two meters high to be demolished. So we are going to demolish this, this, as, this masonry wall there. And then we proceed to the next element trees to be cut you've seen we have jacaranda trees we have the stamps to remove we have trees to plant we have the edge we have the pcc slabs we have the garden traps we have the manuals that is pit excavation item plain concrete reinforced concrete bleak wall plaster step ions md ci cover soil adjustment we have pipeworks and testing so from this point down this one we are done actually for the manuals it's now two videos and then for the drainage work we have one video so if you have a question don't hesitate to ask i'll just share the link so what i want to look at is the first seven items so we start with demolition <coughs> so what we are demolishing we've said is this 200 millimeters brick wall masonry that is two meters high to be demolished so it's two meters high and the length of the brick wall starts from here up to here and that one is that one that one meters so we are going to put an item and then we provide provide some for that demolition and then we state the 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 height and the length of the of the wall that is to be demolished so we are going to say item pulling down of 200 millimeters thick brick mass on the wall that is two meters high and that one meters long and then we go to the jacaranda trees we have uh, 1100 millimeters jacaranda trees to be to be cut so we go to the jacaranda trees so we have one yes one jacaranda trees to be cut so we go to cut down jacaranda tree that is sorry this gut is not that one that is between 900 to 1200 millimeters gut and gut and then say approximately maybe four meters high and grab the the roots mm -hmm. and then we have a stamp it's a 600 millimeter stamp so we also approach that one remove and grab tree stamp a uh, hair gut average gut is, is 600 millimeters gut from from site so the jacaranda tree is one and the and the, the the stamp is one. So we proceed to the next item. Now we need to plant the the trees. So we have three number new trees to be 
planted. Uh, so we need to to we need to cater for the holes. So we are going to dig holes and then we plant the trees. So we are going to item excavate a hole, say 500 by 500 millimeters deep and plant three ornamental trees and water them. And then we also need to excavate a train to plant the euphopia hedge. Uh, hey, where is that hedge? It's here. So we need to also excavate this trench. Mm -hmm. So that trench is 21, that one milli, that one meters long. So we excavate that trench. We are going to say excavate trench that one meters long, and then plant two in number. So we are going to excavate two in number and plant the euphorbia edge in in double row. If you look at the edge, is if you look at the edge that you want, is this one, is this one here, and also that one so we are going to excavate two trenches so that's why we are saying two in number and then we are also going to plant to plant them in in a double a double row <coughs> so once we've done that we go to the pcc slabs so our pcc slabs are here 600 by 600 by 50 millimeters pcc slab on 50 millimeters thick sand and 100 millimeters thick maram bed so our pcc slab so we start with the with the sand bed so our what is the measurement of the pcc slab so the pcc slab are from this point here up to this point here which is 1.2 and they are covering the entire entire length so that is 21 plus that one that gives us 52 meters so we are going to book the length by the width that is 1.2 by 52.00 and then we we start with the sand bed. So it's 1.20 by 52.00, and then we say 50 millimeters thick sand bed. So we've been told the PCC slabs are on a sand bed, and they're also on a maram bed. And then we say upper sand, 100 millimeters thick maram bed. And then now we book, we upper sand, we provide for the PCC slabs, which are size 600 by 600 by 50 millimeters thick on the 50 millimeters thick sand bed. So up to that point, we've covered the, the PCC slab. So we go to the gully traps. So we are going to provide the gully traps. So let's find how many are they in number, the gully traps. So we only need to, we have this gull trap, which is at house A, and this gull trap, which is at house, house B. So we've not been given the dimensions of the gully trap. So we are going to assume, but we only need to to gully traps so we are going to say gully trap size say at 300 by 300 by 300 millimeters with 100 millimeters thick bed that is including excavation and disposal of the excavated material so it's one by two so we need to gull traps of that size so the the provision is including the excavation and disposal of the excavated material so guys up to this point from now here from the manuals we are going to proceed so we you can link up with the previous video that we are done you excavate the pits for the manholes and then you do the concrete work you do the walling you put the slab reinforcement the cover and then after you finished you go to the drainage so you do the drainage for gully trap one to manual one manual one to manual three gully trap to manual two manual two to manual three and then from manual three to to the sewer so guys up to that point we could have covered the the external works thank you for your time thank you for your support if you are new here you know how we do it kindly subscribe share and don't forget to leave a comment until